break it down for you. The whole time you're rooting for this Hemingway guy to survive the war and to be with the woman that he it's loves. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Can't somebody say, hey, let's have a good ending to the story? I can't apologize. You know what I will do? I will apologize on behalf of Ernest Hemingway, because that's who's to blame here. Yeah, have Ernest Hemingway call us and apologize to us, too. Hey, Roxy, how you doing? Yeah, good. Hi, Chris. Welcome to Palm Beach Rocks. Good, thank you. It's great to have you on our show. Oh, thank you. Now, first off, I have to say you're one of my favorite actors. Fifth Element, Rush Hour Friday, classics. Thank you, thank you. But let's talk about your new film, Silver Linings Playbook. Now, in this movie, you play Bradley Cooper's best friend. Tell us about your character. It's a great, great character, fun character. Uh, my character, uh, Bradley Cooper's character, Pat, meet, meets, uh, gets meets me in a mental institution. And I think my character's real positive in his life, and he gets out to try to rebuild his life. My character gets out and just shows up, you know, out of nowhere throughout the movie. And uh, just has a lot of depth to, his, to him, and um, he's just a fun character. So it's like you're there for comic relief? You know what, it's a, you know, my, my character is just comical, but it's, you know, he's serious. He's dealing with some of the same issues that, uh, that Bradley Cooper's character, uh, Pat, is dealing with. But it's just like he just has a positive attitude about it. He's, he's always going through legal stuff with the uh, mental institution, uh, with the mental institution. And uh, it's just that's real, it's kind of comical. So, you know, and, you know, some serious situations, uh, you know, through pain, sometimes comedy comes out of that. So my character is just a fun character. Now, this film has a lot to do with, as we just said, mental issues. What did you think after you read that script? I thought it was great. It's a great part, uh, especially my part, because it's sort of, you know, Pat, uh, Bradley Cooper's character sort of like uh, uh, repeats a lot of the stuff that my characters, you know, live by, you know, being positive and, and, and stuff. So I, I just thought it was a great, a great uh, subject matter, too, of timing. You know, we're dealing with mental issues because it's a lot going, a lot of that going on around the world, around the country. So people can understand it a little bit more, but it's mainly dealing with a family, uh, dealing with family issues, and bipolar. Uh, uh, Bradley Cooper's character just happened to have bipolar and some mental issues, and what they have to do to deal with that, and what the, the worries and concerns, and, and the, the love that the family have to try to, to make sure he's okay and he gets through life okay. And then also Jennifer Lawrence character dealing with her uh, mental uh, issues and, and uh, Robert De Niro character has some mental issues. So it seems like everybody has some kind of mental issues. So that's what makes it so, so uh, 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 good. Cause you like, you wonder when you watch the movie, hey, do I have some mental issues? Cause I think we all <laughs> probably have something. So it's, it's No doubt, Chris. I hope I would play one of those parts myself. Oh yeah, yeah, well, too, 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 far, too hard for me to do. <laughs> Now, how did you like working with director David Orthrell? I loved it. I love it. He's great. He's creative. He's right there, uh, hands-on with the actors, and he's really, uh, he helps you through everything. He's creative. You can do whatever you want to do, and he'll tell you to slow down or bring it and make it big. So it was great working with him. Well, I think it's a must-see film. Such great writing, and the whole cast is great in this show. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, is there anything else you're working on, Chris, that we should know about? Yes, I just finished my stand-up comedy movie. Uh, I did. I started out being a, a, a stand-up comedy comedian for the last six years. I went back to the comedy clubs and worked on a show. And in the last two years, I've toured all over the country. And I just filmed a stand-up comedy movie, a lot like Eddie Murphy's Raw, uh, Richard Pryor, live on uh, Sunset Strip, live in Long Beach. And it's coming out early next year. Uh, my first stand-up comedy movie, so I want everybody to go, go out and check it out. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Don't let Tiffany get you in trouble. She's my friend. Why would you say that? There's this dance thing. I can only do it if I have a partner. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to dance with you. So is this the girl you wrote about? You wrote about me? She's fine. She is my friend with an F. A capital F. She's fine. For friend. Let me tell you. You gotta pay attention to science. When life reaches out with a moment like this, it's a sin if you don't reach back. I'm telling you, it's a sin if you don't reach back. This is what I believe to be true. You have to do everything you can. You have to work your hardest. If you stay positive, you have a shot at a silver lining. Wait, what's this? Well, I thought you were doing it. Oh, I thought you were doing it. I've been always